I don't mind the Niners just appearing in Super Bowls because once they did Alex Smith dirty when I was back in elementary school, just becoming a football fan, I became a Chiefs fan. Oh, so we we ride with Alex Smith. They did him dirty, and they, they did will forever be cursed against. They did against them. That's Chiefs. true, man. So, Alex Smith could have led them to the Super Bowl victory that year. He was having the best year won. of his career. That was the last, that was the last game I was ever a Niners fan, and I haven't looked back since. Um, Why did that bother you so much? Just because he was finally doing so well. He's been through know, so much. Like they were giving him so much shit, and he finally gets it together with a, a, a consistent coach. Mm -hmm. Maybe not the best coach, but he finally has one coach for several years, and then he gets a concussion. And then they're like, no, nah, we don't want to play with you anymore. And I just thought that they did him dirty. And then Colin hey, Kaepernick. sorry you're having the best so, like, season of your career, run. but uh, we're going to a complete novice. Hey, look, and, Kaepernick and was really fair, good We too, did the but... same thing to him. He had his best career <laughs> year, and then we traded him to Washington. But that's because we have Patrick Mahomes. And I feel like it's less disrespectful to be like, we just happened to draft the best quarterback of all time rather than yeah. we have this random dude and he sucks now. Sorry. But, so, yeah, I mean – Alex Smith went on to get to continue to get better and better, and Kaepernick didn't. So interesting. The curse of Alex Smith. Hadn't thought of it, but there might be some to it. How do you feel that the Niners did what they did in overtime? Did you feel like they gave the game away, like the Chiefs inevitably took it? What do you think? Anyone who says that Kyle was right is an idiot. There's <laughs> zero reason to ever receive the ball first. Zero. No reason. Because None. Like you gave your defense a break, okay? They gave up a touchdown anyways. Who cares? <laughs> That's what like, I'm saying. Okay. And the, the whole like point telling is telling like, me that it's good to hit first in baseball. Like, no, you want to hit second. There's a reason the home team gets to hit second so they can walk it off. Yeah, I'm you want to hit. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> I think I, I. And this this has been there for two years. Yep. How do you how do you I not just know that? I know. Like, how, how do you not even? Understand the rule. To me, that's the most game. unprofessional thing I've ever heard. And it's a fireball offense. And the Niners won't fire Kyle. But, like, how do you look at him the same after that? Anyone. He, he gives too much control to his players. I mean. What do you mean? I love this outsider perspective. We need a Chiefs fan's perspective of the Niners. What is their problem? Because they can't figure it out. They're just going to well, run it. They, they fired Steve Wilkes, and they're going to run it back. I actually found your channel when you did a film breakdown of the first Super Bowl we played. I've been watching since, so okay. I enjoy it. But, All right, um, time for me to do more of those. Yeah, that, that was fun. Thanks. Um, I mean, Andy Reid empowers his players to do what they want to do, and he, he lets them have fun within a structure where mm -hmm. it's like, you know, Kelsey can go do whatever he wants to run a route, mm -hmm. but he, he still is like a player. He's not George Kittle or Nick Bozo who's like firing coaches. <laughs> like I, I know he gets upset and like bumps into him and like whatever, but that's him saying I want to be more involved, not saying I hate. Matt I run Nagy. the team. Get mad. Like, that's his frustration that he doesn't. Yeah, and like the, I, I sent in a, a question to you and your dad yesterday about the the Bay Area arrogance, and that wasn't quite the word you you said smug, and I thought that was a better yeah. word. Yeah. And, I thought it was funny because you were talking about how, how everyone else in America thinks that the Bay Area is smug and they drive their Priuses. And I also drive a Prius, so I thought that was pretty funny. Where do you live? Uh, um, my home is Mountain View. Oh, okay. All right. Damn. Uh, so you really switched up on this team. You're like, screw yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Wow. I, I was still in high school when we had our first Super Bowl victory against them. That felt real good going to school the next day. <laughs> uh, but, like, Where'd I would you go to high school? rather have George. Huh? Where'd you go to high school? At Mountain View High School. Wow, that's cool. All right, man. I went to college with kids and went to uh, Mountain View High School. That's a good school. Yeah, it was fun. But yeah. I'd rather much. I'd much rather have George Karloftis than Nick Bosa. Hot yeah. take. I don't care. Why? One, he's getting paid a rookie deal. Up kiss. Versus thirty million. Both have ten and a half sacks this year too. Both have ten and a half sacks. George has one more sack in the playoff. I don't know about the forced fumbles, but George had quite a few and recovers fumbles because he actually pays attention to the play. Unlike another certain George who I, a lot of people are saying there's no way he should recover that. And I don't think George Kittle should have recovered the ball, but you can at least keep blocking until the whistle yeah. goes. You can make like, sure that George Karloftis didn't. Yeah. Because George yeah. Karloftis was paying attention. Yeah. And I mean, Jawan Jennings a few weeks ago blocked a Packers player, I think like into the Gatorade bench, like 
Jawan Jennings has some heart. He, he plays the whistle. What's yep. Kittle doing? That's true. Kittle's when you saw that the Niners were going to play in the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, what was your first reaction? I wanted the Lions to win because I would feel much better losing to the Lions than having to play the Niners because, you know, it's a one game. It's one game. It's not a series. So even if you think you're the better team, anything can go wrong. And losing to the Niners would devastate me as a Bay Area yeah. native. So how confident beating, were you the Niners came in, than anything, knowing the so. Niners for who they are? How confident were you when they before that game started? Yeah, I was telling I was telling my girlfriend that as long as they have Kyle Banana hands, I'm OK playing them the game because, you know, Detroit, they're they're inexperienced, but they also have a lot of talent. And the Niners have more talent than Detroit. I'm hoping they, that goes mainstream banana hands like someone says it on a national show one day. It needs to happen. That needs really to be cool. how he's known. You don't get to have the Shanahan name until you win a freaking Super Bowl. You don't get to have that name. No, no, absolutely not. We're, we're changing it. Shanahan the other day. Shanahan, I like that. I, I like that. that. All right, Bailey. Good call, man. Enjoy it.